start by removing the caliper bolts. They're 12 millimeter. There's two of them, one here, one there. The 10 millimeter bolt that holds the brake hose bolt bracket. Don't get confused on what bolts to remove. brake caliper will be tight up against the rotor, so I rock it back and forth to get a little bit of clearance on the pad so that it slides off the rotor more easily. Do not loosen the left side pinch bolts on the axle until the axle nut is loose. Only loosen up the right side. spacer. Now carefully remove the speed sensor on the left side. Now remove the fender. You can remove the fender at any time before this. Notice that this bracket attaches to the fender and to the brake hose bracket. how you remove the fender 
but be gentle so you don't scratch it. And have a designated place where you want to put that fender so it's not going to get damaged. Now you can remove the front wheel. in the gear came out so the tabs want to be facing sorry. the uh, tabs want to be facing out right here and if you look inside here there's two tangs in here one here one here one here one here and that's just gonna catch that's gonna catch this when it's rotating so it can spin it so we want the tangs out and you'll see these in here matching up Right here, right here. All right, yeah, so this tab has to be on this side. So when it rotates, when it rotates uh, as you're driving down the road, this tab will stop right on this. All right, so now we're gonna get, carefully get the, uh, get this up on the, on the axle now. Use this, get the dirt off. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower lower the bike a little bit. See right here? I'll lower it just a little bit. Not too low. Go up a little bit. Just so I don't have to work so hard. I'm trying to get the wheel in. Phenomenal is going to want to stop on the tab right there. All right. So now I got this in. I got to catch the other side. You can tell where the seal's been riding. That's where you want to put that. So the seal's on the inside. All right. And uh, you want to lubricate it a little bit so it doesn't so it doesn't hit the. Uh, the uh, wheel bearing seal too hard. It's a light spray of WD-40. You'll be fine. It'll evaporate later on. <clears throat> All right. Okay. There we go. Let's see how close I am. All right. Can you go counterclockwise on that? Just a little bit. Counterclockwise. That's it. All right, hold it. A little more. A little more. A little more. Okay. There we go. So I just had my wife assist me there by moving the jack to get this exactly. It's good if you can have an extra person. I've already just banged it in by hand here. And uh, we've got this side right here. Now I just need to get my uh, nut. See if we can find that. There it is, right here. All right. Now remember, this was a, a 22 millimeter. All right, and we can't tighten it all the way until we get the pinch bolts in right here. So let's just get this. Let's just get this as tight as we can get it by hand, just for now. It's a 22. 22 millimeter. I'll just set that right here for now. Okay, we got we got four pinch bolts. First thing we have to do is get this side tightened so we can uh, get the axle nut tight. So 
So put these in, start them by hand. These are the bigger ones. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to tighten this one down. Make sure that's all the way in. Actually, let me snug this on this side. Let me just snug it a little bit. Yep. Let's see if it wants to draw this in anymore. It's not spinning here, so. Okay. It didn't draw it in anymore. All right, so now I'm gonna tighten this down. tighten this down Can you grab the fender the fender it's on the bed all right now we're gonna put the, the final the final screws in here right here and here Remember, I took the fender off. It's only four bolts. I highly recommend you take the fender off. I guess you could, you could, uh, you could take the tire off without it, but then you'd have to raise the bike up really high to clear the fender. And it's only four bolts, so why not just do it that way? So now, I got that with the camera phone. Now you want to put these in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get the uh, caliper bolts just to hold it in place. Is it this? Really? Let's see, let's see it is. All right. The caliper bolts are shiny. I don't remember them being that shiny before. Okay. Okay, we're just going to set that in there. In. Why don't we uh, pump up the pump up the brake pads? Claire, can you uh, pump up the front brake until it gets hard? Just slide, nice and slow. Front brake. Just real slow, on and off, on and off, till it gets hard. How slow? Real slow. Front brake, yeah, slowly. Well, she's pumping that up. I gotta figure out how this thing went. I forgot. Got hard? Yes. All right, that's good. Stop. Let's go this way. All right, that's good. Thank you. Okay. All right, that goes this way. All right. You find a bolt that goes there. Eight millimeter. Uh, the caliper it's not perfect but i used uh some uh, double zero stainless uh, stainless uh stainless steel uh wool and uh did a pretty good job of that a tough time starting to split for some reason there it goes let's take that up I think I see how it goes. Oh, this thing is going to have to go through here. Don't tighten it up too quick. Yep, that was what was up. 
I didn't remember. I did take a picture if I had to. Oh, it went. I always take pictures. So if you get confused on the routing, you can look back on your pictures to see how it went. It still doesn't look that great, does it? Yeah, there we go. So it goes like this. It doesn't go this way. It goes this way and wraps around. So that looks right. That goes with the... Uh, so when this thing goes on there, it goes like this probably. Yep, like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the fender in. All right. All right. Yeah, just hold it right there for me. Got it. Okay. Let's throw the other bolt in here. busy here the other side don't tighten up anything until you get them all in okay I'm gonna put this side in Here. 